let's start. Hopefully this one is actually a good game. Unlike last week. Hold on. Is it going to capture? It's not. Hold on. How about now? Oh no. This is... this is bad. Hold on. It's not even the capture that's bad. You'll see in a second. You'll see in a second what's bad. Oh, I know why. Do I know why? Hold on. There we go. Uh, this is why it's bad. <laughs> Use your magnifying glass in the back of the map enclosed in your colonel's bequest box to identify the fingerprint. Um... Can I get a manual? <laughs> I bought this on GOG. It must come with, like, a manual, right? I'm, I'm checking. Additional executables. Manual is grayed out. Okay, so here's here's where we go to Google. Manual. Okay, I found it on the SierraHelp.com website. On the back of the wait, no, it says on the back of the box. I don't have a box. Is it on the back of the manual? We are no. There's, there's no way. Like, this is this. I bought this on GOG, so they must have a. There's nothing in the manual. What if I just click a random one? What about Fifi? I I either got it right, or it doesn't matter. Wait, looks like Fifi. How do you know? What? I, I literally chose Fifi before you even said anything, too. I don't know if I got lucky or if it didn't matter. Let me turn down the volume. I can already tell it's going to be too loud. Oh, you found an image? So I literally just guessed correctly. Like, I, I actually guessed it before I even looked at chat. <laughs> oh my god. Have you previously attended a performance? No. I don't think so. Will. This one had a much better rating. Like a star rating on GOG compared to last week's game that I already forgot the name of. Oh, Lure of the Temptress. It had a it had like a much better rating, so hopefully this one's actually good. Hmm. Okay. It is seven o'clock. Act one. Why what is what is the game's having a dagger as the cursor? <laughs> it's just like Ripper. This is the guest room you share. Uh, this is the guest room you share with Lillian. Through a bit of tired looking, it seems comfortable enough. Laura, dear, please excuse me. I'm going to freshen up in the bathroom. Why don't you explore the estate a bit? Killer. Oh, I tried stabbing her with my dagger. Something doesn't feel right. Everyone's acting too strange, even Lillian. What would Daddy do in a situation like this? Is that Daddy? Honey, if things don't feel right, they probably aren't. Observe the situation closely, yet be unobtrusive. Explore your surroundings quietly and carefully. Try to question the others without raising suspicion. Notice small details, take lots of notes, and above all, be careful. Okay. Since you never go anywhere without your trusty notebook and pencil, you go to your suitcase, open it, and remove those two items. 
Yes, your father is right. Observing the situation and taking notes would be a good idea. Okay. Do I have an inventory? Oh, enter input. Smile. That is not understood. Do I have... Inventory. <laughs> oh, that worked. Notebook and pencil. Hello, Reavy. Oh, I forgot to change the poll. Laura Bow and Kathy Rain were tied. So I chose Laura Bow. But I forgot to change the uh the poll, which we'll do next time. Or I'll do that after the stream. Your suitcase lies on the bed to the left of the doorway while Lillian's is on the right. Okay, we'd have to check her suitcase. Somehow. I don't know how this game works. Oh. It looks as if it might have been a nursery at one time. Now it's been converted into a makeshift guest room with Ethel as its current guest. I don't want to be here yet. Hold on. I still have the manual up. Let me... <laughs> this manual is huge, by the way. Um... Hold on, I'm just trying to figure out how to play. How to read... <laughs> There's a tutorial on how to read this manual. Okay. Okay, I've already installed it on my MS-DOS. Playing the game. <clears throat> oh god. Oh, I can also use the mouse, or sorry, the arrow keys, or the mouse. Game speed, control, plus and minus, okay. Menus. Press escape. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I never tried that. Okay, save. Action, inventory. Retype. Ask about, tell about, show, give, look at. Speed, so, okay. This is probably all we need. We don't need any hotkeys, just escape is good. Wait, shift click. Shift click allows you to look at a person, place, or object using your mouse. Okay. Using your tab key. Oh, that's inventory. Okay, that you know that's that's good enough. Oops. Shift click. You see two dressers. Oh my god. What is this button? Oh. Ask about cheese. <laughs> okay. Is this the bathroom? It's probably this is probably one of those games where it's easier to use the arrow keys. <laughs> this is the back upstairs hallway of the mansion. Okay. What there's a cat here. A beautiful porcelain cat sits on the thing. Look at, look at cat. It's so quiet. <laughs> um, I'm not even, okay. <laughs> there we go. This elegant room must be the Colonel's. You notice there's an elevator here. That's kind of weird. Oh, I advanced time by 15 minutes. I just killed him. Pardon, Henry. I got lipstick on you. Um. Does he... Does he have a thing with the maid? Uh... Colonel Henry Dijon is a frail, ill-tempered curmudgeon in his late 60s. You understand that the colonel never married and lives in an, lives an eccentric life of seclusion here on his uh, Bayou Island. 
From observing the estate, it appears that though he is supposedly wealthy, he spends a little money to maintain it. How do I talk to him? Talk to him. What are you doing in my room, young lady? I don't know. Talk to maid. Fifi doesn't acknowledge your presence. She's too busy cleaning. Okay. That's Fifi. We, we saw her fingerprint. I keep trying to move with WASD. I am stuck. There we go. I'm not even pressing anything now. She's just moving on her own. Okay. Please. There we go. Doesn't appear that this room has been used in a long time. However, it currently seems to be the guest room of Dr. Wilbur C. Fields. So I'm pretty sure there's like a murder mystery. I don't know what murder, but it's like a mystery solving kind of game. Hey, Fear. Just your average armoire. What is this, like, bag, though? It's Dr. Fields' bag. Open bag. Since it belongs to Dr. Fields, you shouldn't, or you should leave it alone. Open box? The crates are tightly sealed. Besides, there's nothing you would want in them. How do you know that? Open dresser. There's nothing of interest. Open armoire. Sit on chair. You don't feel like sitting around. <laughs> For real? Uh, yeah. Is this, what is this shadow here? Or is that light? Like, is this a doorway? No, it's not. Okay, using the arrow keys is actually not working too well. Like, I'm not even pressing anything. <laughs> okay, please, please stop moving. Here, it's useful here when I have to, like, get in the door. There we go. Actually, I think the trick is to just not hold down the arrow keys. Open dresser. Dude, I just, I just want to find some loot. Look at fireplace. The finely carved fireplaces. Fireplaces? Show the craftsmanship of bygone days. Uh oh. Okay, I thought she was stuck. Actually, can I go in the elevator? Look at elevator. It's an odd it's odd to see a newfangled elevator in this old fashioned house. But how else would the colonel go up and down the stairs? It's a good question. Use it. You don't have it. Oh. Okay. Pick up elevator. You can't get that. <laughs> Wait, go inside elevator. Stay out of my elevator. Okay, fine. Okay, so, what the heck is this door? That's the bathroom. Uh, open bathroom door. Just do that yourself. What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to do it myself. Now let's just see what's down here. This is the front upstairs hallway of the planet, uh, plantation house. A grand staircase leads down. Okay, but... What's in here? This is the cozy guest room, which Gloria and Gertie are sharing. You know, there's several suitcases in the room. They must belong to Gloria and Gertie. Can I, like... 
use this. Use notebook. What do you want to do with the pencil and notebook? Use notebook to write. <laughs> From your detective father, you've learned to write down all your notes. Yes, okay. Some of these tables could use a dusting. Open suitcase. They're locked. Okay, it's easy. You just unlock suitcase forehead. You don't have the key. It's definitely in the dresser. Nope. Potted plant, okay. Uh, search plant? Like maybe they dropped the key in the plant? You notice a portrait of a portrait of a magnificent uh, Palomino on the wall. Could it be the Colonel's horse in better days? Funny, the horse seems to have a strange vacant stare. Take down painting. It's firmly attached. Yeah, this this happens when I hold down the arrow key. So let's let's try not doing that. Pet the horse. I would if it was easier to get in the doorway. Hold on, I want to check. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, if you ask me, I don't think she has any. Oh, hello, dear. Your friend Lillian Prune is a rebellious flapper. What does that mean? <laughs> like you, she is 20 years old, but unlike you, she has been known to hang out in speakeasies, smoke, and run around with several young men. She is assertive and outgoing to the point of obnoxiousness, but underneath it, all you believe her to be is a lonely, insecure girl. I missed what she said. Ethel is a stylishly dressed, overly made-up older woman. Many years of hard drinking have taken their toll on her as her face is puffy and red and her skin is wrinkled prematurely. She always seems to have a drink in her hand. You've never met her before, but Ethel is your friend, Lillian's mother. Talk to Lillian. What? Oh, sorry, it's two L's. Hi, Laura. How's it all going? How does, okay, how does, ask about, um, Mr. Fields. <laughs> Was that his name? Show. Notebook. <laughs> so. Talk to Ethel? Are you having a good time? I'm trying to figure out how to interact with these people. Ask about the mansion. Okay, fine. Hello, Craigus. Do you like my new outfit? Nope. Not particularly, Mother. Um, hold on. Open suitcase. You're not close enough. Oh. You see the clothes you packed for the weekend. Why am I giving my clothes to the weekend? Open suitcase? I think it's trying to open the other one. Oh, come on, there we go. What if I just type like look around? It looks as if this might be it might have been a nursery. Oh, this is Ethel's room, okay. Search dresser. Uh, I'm just trying to open everybody's suitcases. <laughs> Hmm. 
the heck is this? It's a wonderful old dollhouse. I thought <laughs> I thought it was a birdhouse. There's some old toys left over. Oh, pick up toy. They're fragile. Open dresser? Nothing of interest. Several old, old toys. Open arm war. It's empty. Okay, there's nothing in this house. I'm really trying to find some clues. I think we're going to go downstairs now. I should save, even though I've done nothing. Uh, one. I don't get this. Just do that yourself. Well, how... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to the manual. Is there a way to open... Oh, like, is there a way to open doors? Um... Examples of common commands. Talk to, ask, about... Take. Hmm. Open this, people. D. Um. Take notes as you discover clues. Record anything you might think be imp you might think is important. Make a note of each area you visit. Include information about objects there. So, do they make mean like take notes in the game or in real life? Hey, Lucky John, thank you. Thank you for subbing for two months. Oh god, it's also telling me to draw a map. Uh, watch the clock, look everywhere, explore it. Okay. I don't see anything about opening doors. Oh, you just, you just have to get close to it and click on it. <laughs> Modern bathrooms being installed in this house. Why are there so many windows? Like, this should be like frosted glass. I'd feel very uncomfortable in this bathroom. Linen cabinet. Open linen cabinet. I typed it wrong. Open linen cabinet. There's nothing you need inside. Hello, bun. Um, take down mirror. Waste paste, okay. Search waste basket. Search waste paper basket. Use shower. You don't have it. <laughs> Take shower. Yes, you do feel a bit grimy. Perhaps a shower shower will make you feel better. Oh. Um. Monka toss. Um. Someone just walked in. Oh. Well, that was a fun game. But unfortunately, it's over now. We actually just died. Didn't Alfred teach you anything? <laughs> Who the heck is Alfred? Okay, so... We gotta save all the time, is what I've learned from that. Use toilet. Excuse us. Us? Well, did you think this was Leisure Suit Larry? Whoa. Insane reference. 
that that is a beautiful hand washing sound. <laughs> I don't know if I could make a better one if I tried. Like I don't think anybody has made a better water sound than that. Doesn't this just is this like a closet? Hello, Wike. You're not close enough. <clears throat> um, down and then to the left. Open closet. There we go. It's just an empty closet. Why is the chandelier shaking? Did you guys see that? Um, can I look at it? A huge crystal chandelier hangs precariously above the downstairs foyer. For it, for a. I don't know why it was shaking. It's like an earthquake. Stairs lead to the third level of the house. There's a doorway in front of you and another to the right. Okay. This one has a keyhole. Is it locked? The door's locked from the other side. It does not open from this side. This must be Fifi's room. Although her room is in the attic, she has fixed it up nicely. Okay. Open armoire. There's nothing. Sit on couch. You don't feel like it. <laughs> Fifi must enjoy listening to music. As you see a, vict a Victrola in the back corner of the room. Use Victrola. Oh wait. The use is not the right command here. Play music. Hello, bloody. What? A dressing room? Is she like a dwarf? Open, uh, what does it say? Swinging doors. What? Just do that yourself. I can't, I'm too tall. <laughs> Uh, the beds are old and lumpy. Oh well. You're not going to be doing much sleeping tonight anyway. Oh. That's a little spooky. Nice bloody. Please. Open door. Oh right, it's locked. Right. Okay, time to go downstairs. This is the front downstairs hallway of the big house. A grand stairway leads upstairs. Why is there always got to be like a knight? Like a knight statue in these mansions? Very old suit of armor. Well, I guess, it's, sorry, it's just armor. With no, or with one gloved hand holding a battle axe. It stands beside the stairway. Although it's well polished, all its joints are completely rusted. Take axe. It's, it's a firmly attached. Hmm, <laughs> take armor. Couldn't even move this heavy armor. Is there anywhere, anywhere over here? Nope. Uh, you have found the colonel's billiard room. Funny, he doesn't seem to be the kind of guy who would enjoy playing billiards, listening to records on the Victrola or the or the player piano. Oh, that's a good sign. Means we're making progress. Uncle Henry's a strange old coot. He. Um. Seems that Rudy Dijon is Gloria Swansong's brother. And Gertie's son, or son, surmise that Swang Song must be Gloria's stage name. Rudy is a handsome man, and any woman would be attracted to him. But you sense an undercurrent of hostility in Rudy, a sense that he should not be crossed. 
And then this is Gloria Swansong. A beautiful platinum blonde uh, is the colonel's older niece and Gertie's daughter. She seems so glamorous with her long feather boa, stunning jewels, and lovely crown. Or gown. <laughs> you've been told that she's a successful actor in Hollywood, although you've never heard of her. Talk to Rudy. My sister and I are talking, do you mind? Talk to Gertie. Wait, what was her name? Gloria, sorry. Please make it brief, darling. Like, I want to ask about something, but I don't know what I'm doing. Like, it's a mystery game, I think. But what's... I don't know what we're trying to solve. Um, It's quite dirty and dusty. You see three balls, two red and one white. That's got to be important. Sorry, take. Billiard balls. You don't need any. There's some cues. Okay, what about... Do I need a cue? Oh, sorry, I, I said talk again. Since you don't play billiards, you don't need a cue. Well, play billiards. Although your father is an excellent billiards player, you never learned the game. <laughs> it's not that complicated. I did not mean to go outside. This is the southwest corner of the mansion. Okay. It's real, cre real creepy and dark out here. You shiver at the thought of venturing outside alone. Perhaps you ought to go back. I will go back. We're not ready for the outside. It was scary out there. Oh, they're talking about me. Uh, you can turn the winding mechanism to wind up the piano player. Wind up piano player. Uh, you can turn the winding mechanism. Okay, turn winding mechanism. You're not close enough. Okay, that makes sense. Turn winding mechanism. Nice. We actually have some sound. I can't seem to leave, but... See a picture of a lovely dark-haired girl above the piano player. Or above the player piano. Strange, her eyes have a haunted, hollow look to them. Ooh, can I take trumpet? You were never musically inclined. Oh. Well, enjoy your music. I'll be leaving now. You've entered the parlor of the old mansion. Against the back wall, you notice a sculpted marble bar. And in the corner, a parrot swings from its bird stand. Oh. There's a burb. And now it's 7.45. That old biddy, she's half sloshed most of the time. Oh. Hello. Gertrude Dijon is, is the colonel's widowed sister-in-law. She obviously is behind the times as she looks like she's just stepped out of the old... Uh, out of the gay 90s. A bit of a snob, she walks around with her nose up in the air and has an annoying habit of constantly playing with her mini strands of pearls. That's, that's Gertrude and this is Clarence. Clarence Sparrow is a dapper-looking man in his late 40s. From what you've gleamed, uh, he's been the colonel's attorney for some time and seems to know the rest of the group as well. His manner is a bit on the curt side, and you sense a bit of sneakiness here. Ger Gertude. I'll just, say, I'll just say Gertie. Please leave us be. Does Clarence want to talk? 
This is a private conversation, do you mind? Oh. Colorful parrot swings merrily on its perch. Talk to parrot. Polly want a cracker. Take parrot. You're not close enough. Ow! It just bit my hand off. Okay, it's not a game over at least. Actually, I should save. I didn't mean to go outside. I should save before I actually get killed by something random. Uh, there's a horse. Okay. Take horse. Pet horse. <laughs> Pet parrot. You're not close enough. It's gonna bite my hand off again. Yep. <laughs> it's not a very nice parrot. Oh, is that? Ooh. Take alcohol. You don't care for liquor, remember? No, I don't remember. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the bar. Hold on, what is this? Marble statue of a Greek maiden. I have a feeling once I explore all these rooms, I'm gonna be stuck. <laughs> And not know what to do. <laughs> this is the back down, back downstairs hallway of the big house. Double French doors lead out the back. Okay, we have two more rooms. Oh, maybe more than two. Very elegant dining room. It looks like the colonel has some class after all. Uh, we got chairs. We got a fire. A lovely leaded glass hutch in the corner. Open hutch. Okay, what is this though? It's just like a urn? Looks like a trophy. Hold on, what is this under the table? I don't know, it's nothing I guess. This old house has a nice big kitchen. Right now you can see Sally washing the dinner dishes while Beauregard has found a warm spot by the stove. Oh, there's a dog. There's a dog and a burb. This game has everything. Open ice box. Ice box? Sorry, open ice box. You're not close enough. Ooh, a leftover soup bone. As it might come in handy, you grab it. Nice, we actually found loot. We finally found loot. Pet dog. Uh, Burgard appears to be a very old and lazy bloodhound. His, his loose skin hangs and folds and his long ears almost drag the ground. You sense that he must be the colonel's dog. Pet. Dog. Okay. <laughs> oh, are, we still have a hand. <laughs> you can pet the dog. Talk to dog. The dog pricks up his ears as you speak to him. Give bone to dog. Oh, you give the bone to Beauregard, who eagerly begins to gnaw on it. Pet dog again. I don't know why we did that, but now he has a he has a bone. Smell of coffee. Take coffee, obviously. Oh, you've never been fond of coffee. 
Sally is the colonel's cook. She's an overweight... <laughs> Overweight black lady who on the surface seems to be distant and unfriendly. However, you sense that she's probably a very nice person. Just minding her own... Is this... What is this game, dude? I'm pretty sure this game was made in 1988. It was a long time ago. <laughs> I, did, I still didn't mean to go outside. Okay, talk to uh, Sally. I gotta get the dishes done. This game was made a long time ago. Okay, we have one more room. And I'm stuck on the table. Oh my god. Come on. I should save again. I should just press F5. Yeah, okay, the trick is to not hold down the arrow key. <laughs> there we go. Oh, sorry. Wait. No, no, stop. Open armoire. You're not close enough. That means I should be able to open it. Too bad it's locked. <laughs> okay. Thanks, game. This must be the library. You see many books of various and sundry topics played they're displayed in the bookcases. Tucked into one wall, you notice an elevator shaft. Yes, that goes to the colonel's room. Would you like a drink? No thanks. Dr. Wilbur C. Fields is a pudgy man in his mid-fifties. He seems to be a nervous type and sweats profusely. I accidentally clicked away. So now we don't get to hear about him. Oh, you don't see an elevator, just the shaft. Oh, because it was upstairs. Talk to, uh, what was his name? Wilbur? Ah, so you're Lillian's friend, Laura, is it? You look very nice, Laura, very nice indeed. Dirty old man. This is a little creepy. Kind of a, kind of a weird thing to say. Various objects and knickknacks. You see some books. Read books. You glance at the titles of various books, but frankly find most of them boring. You decide to pass. Ask Wilbur about books. I, I almost typed the wrong word. I don't know anything about it. Oh. Ask Wilbur about... I cannot type. Dog. <laughs> wow, she went all the way with one press of the keyboard. Okay. This appears to be the colonel's study as a large desk dominates the room. Upon the desk, you notice a small glass case. At the back of the room, two large cabinets also catch your attention. Talk to maid. Well, it's Fifi again. How'd she get down here? Open cabinet? Oh my god. Come on. I believe. There you go. Cabinet. Carefully open the glass door of the cabinet and look inside. Stored within is the colonel's rifle collection. Take rifle. You don't know how to use it anywhere. They're not loaded. No fun. 
Um, notice a silver uh, derringer mounted upon a blue velvet backing. Is that a gun? I think that's a gun. Hello, Amitsi. Open glass case. It's locked. Pick pocket made for key. Oh, that's outside again. Okay, well, let's just go outside. So I think we've explored every room inside. <laughs> Let's see what's going on out here. You see a rusted iron bell at the top of an, of an old bell tower. A rope dangles a short distance beneath the bell while a ladder runs up the tower's side. Behind a weathered fence you also notice the, rem the remnants of the old plantation field. Oh, that's that's a tree. We got spooky lightning. <laughs> pew pew. A short rope hangs slightly below. Pull rope. You reach up and try to grab the ring attached to the end. But the short, short rope is too high. Jump to ring. Okay, I mean, there's a ladder, but it doesn't really... It doesn't go to the rope, it goes to the bell. Ring bell? You need to pull on the rope. Okay, pull rope. You're not close enough. Dusty cobwebs cover the old bell. Um. Use notebook. What do you want to do with it? I don't know. Okay, we need like a stool. Or a chair. At this end of the island, there is a small, quaint chapel. Behind you, you see an old family cemetery. You've come up upon a ramshackle, a little playhouse. Hanging from a nearby tree, you see an old rope swing. Seeing these long-ago playthings makes you wonder about the children who used to live here. Uh, where did the chapel go? Oh, there it is. Open? Can I open? Open doors? There we go, there we go. This is the old plantation chapel. Above the pulpit, you see a beautiful stained glass window. And we actually have music. Okay. See nothing special about the pulpit. Uh, that's the back door. It leads to the cemetery. What the heck? There's an old family graveyard behind the little, little chapel. Set among the... I clicked accidentally. Set among the various family graves and monuments, you notice two large tombs. Crouton and Dijon. Uh, the graves and monuments belong to various members of the Crouton family. Ranging, or ra ranging, <laughs> ranging from the large monument 
of Patriarch Francois Couton and his wife Claudette. Uh, the simple grave of Sarah Couton, who was 17 when she died in 1871. Granite slab. Okay. Open doors. Oh, I should probably walk up to them if I can get there. Uh, the door, the tomb door is sealed. You can't enter it. What about this one? That one works. Cautiously, you look inside the tomb. Currently, it's just an empty tomb. One day, there'll be a final... This will be the final resting place of Colonel Dijon. Hey, Anastra. Can I... Can I go... Okay, I guess that's it. Okay, let's go back to the playground. Oh, that's the barn, okay. <laughs> On the west corner of the island, you see an old dilapidated stable surrounded by an empty corral. Bales of hay. Take hay bale. Sorry. <laughs> wrong wrong kind of bale. You don't want to carry around soggy hay. Yeah, but you can use it as a step stool. Gonna be Oh, there is a horse. There's only one stall in this old stable. As there is an old broken down nag in the stall, you you deduce this must be Blaze. Okay. Talk to Blaze. You gently speak to Blaze. He just looks at you with his big brown eyes. Pet Blaze. You're not close enough. Okay, we have to save before we lose an, lose an arm. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Pet. As you stroke Blaze's velvety soft nose, his eyes open wide and his ears twitch uncontrollably. Oh. We're fine. Feed. Feed Blaze. Blaze is tired of hay. Oh. <laughs> I would be too. Um, put bridle on Blaze. Blaze. This isn't King's Quest Four. What the heck? They just got references to all the old adventure games. Put saddle on Blaze. Saddle's very heavy. Besides, you've never been fond of horseback riding. Dude, this... Main character is fond of nothing. Like, she hates everything. Uh, you're at the southwest edge of the island. The old road and fence have been overtaken by the rising swamp water. Uh, the owl is on the nightly rodent patrol. He pays little attention. Pet owl. Talk to owl. Hoo hoo. <laughs> this game is great. I don't know what I'm doing, but we can pet all the animals. <laughs> Walking along the south edge of the island and old roads or an old road runs alongside the old plantation's front wrought iron fence. Yep. Can we just leave? Open fence. Open uh, door. I don't think we can. We're stuck here. 
at the south south edge of the island. From here, you can see the west edge of the main circular driveway. Is that the barn? Oh, that's the... That's a playhouse. Did I, wait, I was trying to go back there and I couldn't. And they bit off your hand? No, just the parrot did. That's like one out of four. Or one out of three. There's a squirrel. Hold on. Pet. Squirrel. You'll have to stoop to get through that door. Open door? You attempt to open the door, but it's locked. Dang. Drink water from puddle. P puzzle? Puddle. You're not thirsty. Sit on swing. Gingerly, you sit on the swing. Wow. Is that a game over? <laughs> no, we're fine. How embarrassing. It's okay, nobody saw that. Oh, that's the chapel up there. What? A oh, that's the bell. Tower. I'm kind of scared. We're running out of places to explore. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. A little ruble. What's this? What does it look like? There is audio, it's just like very infrequent. <laughs> what a wonderful view of the old plantation house. From here you can almost imagine what it must be like during its glory days. The statue appears to resemble the colonel. Okay, what, what's over here? Ooh. Standing in front of the house by the front door. Okay. Oh, under the mat. There's got to be something under the old doormat. Look under doormat. There's nothing under the doormat, dang. Is the stream dead? What? No? Oh, here we go. This is an odd looking place. It seems to be a private little garden, completely surrounded by a hedge. Oh, there's also a... hold on. What's up here? There's a poor but clean shack here at the edge of the old sugarcane fields. Nearby, you see a small chicken coop. <laughs> uh, through the rusted wire of the coop, you can see the feathered forms of the two chickens that Sally keeps. Pet chicken. Try... wait, what? Pet chicken. Open chicken coop. Leave them alone. <laughs> Feed chickens. Oh, fine. I don't know why, Ruble. Sally's old rocking chair waits. So this is Sally's house. Open door. It's locked, of course.
Broken arched bridge crosses a large stream at the swamp's edge. Okay, there's a big old hole in it, though. Seven? That was supposed to be six. <laughs> Ruble can see. I thought it just wouldn't let me walk. <laughs> I thought it just wouldn't let me go there. <clears throat> Pet the swamp. Oh my god. She So she can't swim, clearly. So we need like a, we need like a log. Or like a plank of wood to put across there. Misty bayou waters surround this old plantation. <clears throat> Cutting it off from the rest of the world. Better watch your step. It's a freaking crocodile. Gators, I mean. Alligators. Vicious gators inhabit the swamp. Pet. Alligator. Pet. Gator. You can't be serious. <laughs> oh, I am serious. Hold on, I gotta see what happens. If I walk in here. Yep, she's she is super dead. Can I walk across this little uh Oh that just goes back. I don't know what you mean, Ruble. I mean, we are playing a game from 1988. So. <laughs> Not like the game has the best quality to begin with. You got the southeast edge of the, of the Bayou Island. Yes. Oh, is that a, is that a gazebo? This quaint gazebo looks like it was once a nice spot for a quiet reflecting. Looking north, you see hedges. I don't know why I'm up here. Can I just type like go to garden? Can we fast travel? I don't I don't know what that is fear. Up. Okay. Like in that movie? Ah, yes, of course, that movie. The hedge garden is very strange. In the center you see a small fountain while a nearby statue overlooks it. Perhaps at one time this was someone's place of quiet contemplation. Statue of a, of a dancing nymph. Spy two barbel urns in the opposite corners. Is that a button? I see that button. There's 100% a button there. Push button. Game does not understand button. What is this? What is that? <laughs> well, I'm out of places to explore, I think. So, by the way, I looked up how long this game is, it said like four hours, however, you have to like at least double that. 
Because whenever I look up how long some of these old adventure games are, I think they assume that you are following like a guide or something, because <laughs> they're always way longer. Oh. The, uh, uh, Gertie left. Talk to Butler. You attempt to talk to Jeeves, but he ignores you as he goes about his business. Like, Ripper said something like eight hours when I looked it up. And it took, like, like five streams. <laughs> Okay, these two people left, and they stopped the piano. Play billiards. Didn't show Ruble the parrot. I'm sure we'll. I'm sure he'll see it. I'm sure the parent parrot will be very will be an integral part of the story. Oh, I want to warn you, Wilbur. Don't you dare go spilling that spilling the beans on me. I wouldn't do a simple. I wouldn't do a thing like that, sweetie pie. My little medical problem was my own business and nobody else's. See to it that you keep quiet. Sure thing. Whatever you say. Hmm. Fine. <laughs> Who is that again? Is that Gloria? She's gone. Okay. Ask Wilbur about Gloria? I spelt Wilbur wrong. Gloria is a beautiful girl, a desirable girl. She was a patient of mine once, although I haven't seen her for quite some time. Oh, was that not Gloria? Ask Wilbur about Jeeves. Ask Wilbur about Lillian. I haven't seen Lillian for quite some time. I remember visiting her as a child. I understand she had some problems a while back. Ask about... Um, what's the colonel's name? <laughs> Henry's got more life in him than you might think. Yes, siree. Um, Clarence. Sometimes Clarence gets a bum rap. He's not as bad as you would... As some would have you think. It's Colonel Mustard. Right. Wait, was it was it actually? <laughs> Wasn't someone's name Mustard? Like, I know that's from Clue, but... Oh, wait. I know it's from Clue, but now I'm like... Was there someone? What, did this game... Didn't this game mention Mustard? Ask Wilbur about... Uh, Gertie. I'm not well acquainted with Gertrude. I know her daughter, though. Oh. Wait, this is Dr. Feels, right? This is Wilbur Feels. I'm just going to ask everybody about everybody. So I'm not sure what else to do. Uh, oh, I can pet the dog, by the way. You always gotta pet the dog. Okay. <laughs> Ask Sally about uh, Henry. Ain't got nothing to say about Jeeves. He only the butler. Ask 
Sally, ab Sally about. I I cannot type. Uh, feels. Just use first names, but I can't remember his first name. Oh, Wilbur. <laughs> um, ask Sally about dog. Just an old hound dog. Who else is there? Clarence. Was it? I think there's a way to like. Yeah, retype is F3. Ask Sally about um, Lillian. Ask about Gertie. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to leave. <laughs> We're going to go back upstairs. Well, hold on. What were in these rooms again? That's the parrot. Um, oh, hello. Would you like a drink? No thanks. Why does this song sound so familiar? Gloria has a dreamy look on her face as she listens to the music. Uh, not in a mood. Okay. Clarence. Okay, she does not want to talk. What if I turn on the piano as she's listening to the to the Victrola? Wind. Uh. What was it called? Oh. Turn the winding mechanism. Well, now the music stopped, so I can't ruin it. I... Turn the winding mechanism. Not now. Okay, fine. Oh, it was just getting good, and then I left. What? I don't even... I really want to know what the... <laughs> like, what's the story in this game? We're just a bunch of people in a house. And apparently, apparently it's a mystery game? I don't know what the mystery is. Oh, we advance time. We're on Act... Uh, two already. I don't even know what I did. Gertie looks awfully tired. Punch, Gertie. <laughs> um, I don't. I'm gonna. Can I just say take key? Even though I don't know if there is a key here. <laughs> I have to advance it enough to get the murder. <laughs> Check behind the horse painting. I already tried, but it was too big. To, or it didn't move. <clears throat> Everyone wants the Colonel's will. I see. This appears to be another guest room that Rudy and Clarence are sharing. What is happening here? Leave me alone. Talk to Clarence. You must be confused. Clarence is not here. Wait, who is this? Oh, that's Rudy. 
You know, Laura, you're a very attractive girl. Oh. Ask Rudy about... Maid. I know what she's after, I've got her completely pegged. <laughs> Ask Rudy what she's after. <laughs> okay. Take key. I don't know if there's a key here, I'm just like, maybe there is. Did I watch the intro? I The, the intro showed a dude, or someone uh, writing on the will. I don't know if there's any more than that. Kill him? Kill Rudy. Not now. <laughs> maybe later, though. Uh, okay, this is the colonel. Talk to Henry. Quit coming in my room. Ask Henry about Will. Ask Henry about Wilbur. Ask about dog. <laughs> Ask about parrot. Ask about... Oh, it said now, now? I thought I read it as not now. Clarence. Okay, ask about uh, Rudy. Okay, he's, he's not going to tell me anything. What was this again? Open bag. I really want to look in that bag. Really want to see what's in there. Miniature replica of a cannon. Take cannon. Anybody, anybody in here? By the way, if you take a shower, you get stabbed. <laughs> kind of a weird design to have to walk through someone else's room just to get to your room. <laughs> okay, nothing's going on in here. Not quite sure what to do. Like act, oh, well we can check up here. Act two started. Which means I should probably look in every room again. Are you still locked? Still locked. Who are you again? Oh, you're Fifi. Right, Fifi is the maid. I keep forgetting her name. You surmise that she is probably a very, probably very apt in her duties, whatever they may be. Young, blonde, and sexy. Although she seems to have a, vi a vivacious personality, you can sense a certain cunning underneath it all. Talk to Fifi. Oh, Mademoiselle, excusez-moi, but you have not. You should not be in here. Be in here. Be seen here. <laughs> Ask Fifi about uh what was what was Jeeves? I'm quite fond of him. Henry. Oh no, ask about Rudy. He is nothing but trouble. 
I love looking for a Henry. Ask about Sally. Okay. Ask about. Do not like that man. Oh, we got music. Um, I think she has her sights set for all of Henry's money. Ask about Lillian. Um, okay. What was Lillian's mother's name? I forget. I don't back of the kitchen. It was Jim. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know if it was Jim. <laughs> like, I've been outside. I'm pretty sure I've been out back. Oh, what is happening? One important tool a good detective uses besides asking questions of people is to selectively reveal information to them and listen to their response. If you tell Gloria about Fifi, you may receive additional information about Fifi, or at least what Gloria thinks of her. I love how our father just randomly talks to us. Okay, so I can tell people about things. Where was the... it was over here, right? Phone call memes. Oh, what's going on? 8.15. Do I want hints? Not yet. Eventually, I'll probably want hints. <laughs> now, now, ch chili. What? I should have read that. I was, I was too late. Lily and Sally seems to be seem to be having a discussion while Sally is making tomorrow's bread. Talk to Lillian. What you, what you want? I'm busy. The dog is gone. Okay, so I can tell Lillian about, I don't know, who? <laughs> Rudy. Rudy can never control himself around women. That's why he's always in trouble. About uh, Fifi. Okay, so everybody, everybody just like hates everybody here. Oh, I haven't been here. I thought I did. There's the dog. I forgot his name. Bure guard. The dog dish is empty. Take dog dish. Oopsies. Okay, pet dog. Yeah, it's text based and point and click. Appears to be cellar door. Open cellar door. Oh my god. It's locked. There's so many locked things. There's a large doghouse outside the kitchen door. Okay. Look in... Doghouse. Anything suspicious? Look who's home. It's a dog. <laughs> Yep. 
You're standing at the east side of the... Okay. I haven't been here either, because I don't remember looking at the well. I feel like I should follow Jeeves. An old deep well. Turn well handle. What's gonna come up here? A bucket. The leaky oaken bucket barely holds water. Take bucket. What? Butch it? Bucket. No, oh, bucket. The bucket belongs to the well. Oh my god, that water sound. Eat bucket. <laughs> I feel like I should follow Jeeves. Like, where's he going? Well, he's gone now. Oh. It's open. Misty Acres. You can't read a sign from behind it. <laughs> yes, I can. It says Misty Acres. That must be the name of the old plantation. A weather-beaten dock extends from the island's edge out into the alligator <clears throat> infested bayou. Toward the center of the island, you can see the old house. What is this? Just a bunch of boxes? Look at boxes. Old crates are piled at the end. Open crate. Push crate in water. <laughs> hmm. Can I go this way? Eat crate. <laughs> Can I look at the gargoyles? A pair of iron eagles. Oh. Sorry, they're eagles, not gargoyles. Okay, we're, we're out of the property. Or maybe we're still in. But we're outside of the gate now. Iron eagles. What? I just got the alligator just snuck up, snuck up on me. Wow. It came out of nowhere. Hold on, I want to try to follow. Talk to Jeeves. He ignores you. Can I follow him? Where are you going? He's very suspicious. Oh, is he gonna feed the horse? He is. I kind of want to follow him some more. But I also want to talk to the horse. Oh, it's gone. Can I take the lantern? Take lantern. You're not close enough. Open gate. Oh, I can let the horse out. They killed us. <laughs> what the heck, Blaze? Hmm. Okay. Let's go back inside. You know, Polly, you really understand me, don't you? Ock, Polly, Ock. 
No, why, why are you leaving? Ethel, that's Lillian's mother. Ethel is more interested in the parrot. Oh. That's fair. Hmm. I feel like so far all we've done to advance time is to just like walk around and explore the rooms. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing that, I guess. Willibur is gone. Um, did anyone else? That's the guy who stabbed me in the shower. Or whatever, person. I don't know, I don't know who that is. Did I go out here? What am I trying to do? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, hello. There you go. We advanced time. All these people in the house want the will of the guy. I can't go on... What? <clears throat> Quiet. Let's go into the house to continue this discussion. The colonel... This is the colonel's house, and everybody wants his will. But we don't, we don't know. I'm guessing... Okay, there's the shadow again. I'm guessing something will happen. I'm just gonna follow these guys. They went to the dining room. I'm warning you, Wilbur, if you say anything to... Young woman, will you please leave us alone? Nope. Hey, Laura, how's tricks? What? Private discussion. Maybe I can, like, hide. Quit blowing smoke in my face. Hide under table. They won't notice. <laughs> Wait, who is this again? Clarence. Um, tell Clarence about Wilbur. Hmm. Let's save again. Ten. Okay, they're still here. I don't know, Clarence. I don't feel. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for someone to get murdered. Other than me. Okay, she's still in there. I mean, I should probably be, like, telling people about stuff, but I don't know what to tell them about. Nothing's really happened. What is this? Is that an... It's a handkerchief. Handkerchief. You're not close enough.
All right, just press F3. Oh, okay, well, take handkerchief. How do you freaking spell this word? Handkerchief. There we go. Okay. I've never had to type that, like, I've never had to write that word before. To be honest. It's never a word that I've had to, like, write or type. Okay. Well, whose room is this again? Did someone, or did something happen in here? A small table is lying on its side near the open wide window. Okay, now something's happening. Is that cigar smoke you smell? Now we're getting somewhere. I think we've seen one person smoke. Which is uh, Clarence. Who could have opened the window and why? Hmm. Maybe we should go below the window. Oh, someone's walking outside on the second story veranda. Who could it be? Someone with a hat. Um, can I maybe try to see them from under other windows? Hello, Clarence. Or, sorry, Henry. Ask Henry about open window? <laughs> or t tell Henry about window? Who cares? <laughs> I don't know what to tell him about or ask him about. Tell Henry about suspicious figure. Suspi <laughs> Tell <laughs> whatever. I just want to see if we can uh, look through one of these windows and see them again. Look through window. It's dark outside. Difficult to see. Hmm. I kind of, I, I do feel like we should go below the open window. So maybe somebody jumped out. Well, no, it's probably the... The guy on the second floor. It has some pixel hunts. Oh boy. Not really surprised. So it was outside of this room. Oh, hello. 8.45. Everything all right, Gloria? I suppose, darling. Let's just get on with this game. Wow, there was some insane power in that shot. They're they're not very good. They do suck. <laughs> of 
Come on, guys. There's like only two balls. You've got to have a good angle on at least one of them. Oh, that uh, looks maybe good. No, it's not. Talk to. Please leave us alone. Beat it, kid. Oh, tell Gloria about Hanker Chief. Someone just dropped their handkerchief, so what? Okay. Tell Clarence, okay. Let's go out this window if I can figure out how. Anything suspicious? I told you someone was down here. Looks like uh, Gertie has accidentally fallen from her upstairs window and killed herself, or was it an accident? Nope. There we go, finally. Something, something has happened. Look at Gertie. Gertie's dead, all right. Um. Yeah, let's let's go inside and like tell people about what happened. Tell. Oh. Clarence about Gertie. You don't get any response. Mother. Oh no, it can't be. Hey, you better put that pool cue back. You're very mean. There's nothing there. What? He just continues playing pool. There's nothing there. Oh my god. Someone cleaned it up very quickly. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go back up. See if there's any evidence in the room up here still. Or maybe they closed the window and got rid of all evidence. Yep, everything is, uh, looking normal. Hmm. Tell Rudy about Gertie. That can't be true, not Mother. Okay, where is he going, though? Because there's no nothing to show him. Oh. A short time later. You're a loony. There's nothing there. Okay. He's right. There is nothing there. This room is very pink. Okay, nothing in there. Is 
Let's check the bathroom. Uh, nothing going on in there. Oh, Henry is gone. And the elevator is gone. Okay, so Henry went down the elevator. Is there a way to call the elevator? Apparently you don't see an elevator. Just, okay, but... Okay, call elevator shaft. <laughs> I don't know. Like, how do you, how do you get the elevator up? Actually, hold on, before I leave, I should show Rudy the handkerchief. Hand cur chief. What business is it of mine? I don't know. Should also pet the kitty. I think it's fake. It's a porcelain cat. Pet cat. Pet porc how do how do you spell that? <laughs> porcelain. Pet porcelain cat. I can't pet it. Unfortunately. Dude, this chandelier is gonna fall on somebody. Like why it's it's always shaking. There's either an earthquake, or it's like very windy in the, inside the house. Kind of scary. Okay, you're still talking to the bird. Oh, nice. Act three. Talk to Wilbur. Ah, so you're Lillian's friend, Laura? Oh. We've already talked. Tell Wilbur about Gertie. Oh no, I'd better go check on that. Very casually walking away with his hands in his pockets. You're crazy. Gertie's not there. Tell Wilbur. It may be Ethel's. Okay. I'll ask her about it in a second. Nothing going on in there. Something looks wrong here. A chair has been knocked over and there are signs of struggle on the floor. Dude, I was gone for like half a second and Wilbur just died. A fireplace poker. Take fireplace poker. As you retrieve the fireplace poker, your eyes happen to fall upon some small pink feathers scattered on the floor. That's, uh, that's Gloria. You wonder how the small pink, pink feathers got on the floor. They look like they may have come from a feather boa. Uh, take feathers. Take pink feathers. F features? Feathers. Okay, well, we can't take them. Okay, we got, we got some leads. First, I'm going to find Ethel. Ethel is gone. 
12, by the way. Okay, there's... There's Gloria. Ask... Or tell Gloria about... Fire... Poker. What? Oh, just called poker. Okay. I could care. Okay, ask Gloria about poker. What are you? What are you talking about? Give poker to Gloria. What about? Pink feathers. Ask Gloria about Wilbur. What are you? I don't know what else to say to her. Um, where is Ethel? Okay, it's 9.30. This ain't for you, kid. Ta I can't type. Oh, there we go. Tell Rudy about... Wilbur. Rudy shouts an angry look, shoots an angry look at you. He doesn't want to talk. And that's Clarence, right? Yeah. Poker? They don't want to talk. Okay, I'm pretty sure Ethel's room is the one over here. No one's in here, though. I'm trying to figure out what those paintings are. The, the, the three paintings here. There's like four pixels. Like one is a flower. I don't know what the other two are. Anything going on in here? Hello, Henry. Poker. Uh, tell Henry about Wilbur. Okay, ask Henry about Wilbur. Ask about poker. I, like, we have leads. I just don't know what to say to people. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Wilbur, uh, Wilbur's bag is gone. It was on the bed before. It's gone now. Very interesting. Let's just, okay, let's look outside, because 
I don't know if there's much going on in the house. We'll check the dock. We do not want to go left, because that's how you get killed by an alligator, or eaten by an alligator. I have an idea for this poker. I think we can, we might be able to use it. Can I go this way? Yes. Oh, I haven't been here before. The garden path encircles a small statue, then continues on through a lovely rose arbor. Exquisite statue of a dancing satyr. This is a wonderful little garden. You wonder who planted it. Certainly not the colonel. Oh, there's Ethel. What the heck? She's gone. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to ask her about the handkerchief, but... Two marble pedestals. Roses, roses. I just noticed it's a big heart. What if I uh, go down? Okay, that's... Apparently I never went out these doors. <laughs> the back doors. Okay, so over here should be the bell. I'm thinking we use the fire poker. To maybe ring the bell? I don't know why we're ringing the bell, but... Use poker. Use poker on... What is it called? Iron ring. Use <laughs> poker on rope. <laughs> Rop. Use poker to pull rope. Okay, I don't know. I thought maybe she could, like... Put it through there and pull down? Yeah, it's too high. Okay, well, let's go up the ladder again. Uh, use poker to ring bell. Okay, fine. Hello, master. You could totally reach that. Whoa! There's Wilbur. <laughs> What happened to Wilbur? Someone must have hit him over the head and killed him. Nervously, you look behind you, but there's no one there. I almost left without going in here. I'm glad I did. Loot Wilbur. <laughs> okay. Any, any weapon nearby? A blunt object? Is he going to be gone if we go back in? Yep, he's gone. 
Very spooky. Okay, we need to go inside and tell the others. If I can figure out how. Squirrel. You have frightened off a little squirrel. I should probably save. Hold on, I can turn the game speed up, right? Faster. How fast can I go? That's slower. This seems to be the fastest. Is that the clock? I'm like, I hear a clock. <laughs> Wait, there seems to be something behind the grandfather clock? It's like, I heard the clock, but I couldn't see it. Move clock. Oh my god. You pull on the grandfather clock and to your surprise find that the whole clock opens to reveal a secret door. Found a small hidden room. Wow. An old cane. Take cane. Take cane. Okay. This is 100% for the, for the bell. Because it's got the hook. So then what's this door? It's nothing? Oh, and we can see through the paintings. And there's a big hole in this wall. <laughs> what? That's what you get for being such a snoop. Okay. I guess don't go too far into the secret wall. Or the secret room. Okay, but there's like someone living in the walls. The, the shadow figure. Okay, take the cane. And just leave. Just leave. And then save. Now let's go back to the bell. Because I think the cane is like definitely used for that. It has to be. Did we already find Wilbur in this reload? Well, we're gonna find we're gonna we're going over there anyway, so. That's a big cursor. It is very big. I don't know what the uh native resolution is for this game. Oops. That is probably very small. Well, let's find Wilbur first, if I, uh, if I haven't. And then we'll try the bell. Yeah, he's already gone. Did 
you, you could probably like count the pixels. You could probably count the height and width to figure out the resolution of this. Because I'm also playing in full screen. Just like how you see on the stream. Okay. Pull rope with cane. Reaching up the cane. Oh. Nothing happens. It's too rusted. Okay. Can we, like, use the handkerchief and <laughs> wipe it? I don't know if that's how it works, but... Use... Anchorchief on Bell. I don't know. But the cane is used for that. We just have to unrust the bell. Let's go back in. Hey, Prax. 640 by 480. Did you count? <laughs> that sounds right. Because we got, we got some mini black bars on the sides. And a black bar at the top. Although that's the, uh, yeah, that's the... Ta like the taskbar. Okay, nobody in here anymore. What about the mirror? Open mirror. <laughs> Break mirror. Use poker on mirror. Dude, this is a reflection. What the heck? This game is uh it's insanely advanced. I don't think there's a score at all. I don't think you have a score. What is F1? Oh. Okay. Where is everybody? There's nobody on the first floor of the building. Let's just check the attic while we're here. There's a knight. I tried taking the axe already. Unfortunately, you can't. And the armor. Oh, hello. It's Rudy and Fifi. I'm learning. What is happening? Stop it. Leave me alone. Get out of my room now. You'll regret that. Um. I don't like where this is going. Talk to Fifi. Let me rest. Ask Fifi about Rudy. Okay, she's she's sleeping. We advance time though. We're making progress. That is Clarence.
wake Clarence up. Fine. I'll leave him alone. I still want to find Ethel. And where, where's Henry? Henry's elevator is up, which means he's also up here. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Sometimes you look gigantic. Anybody in the bathroom? Is this one of the mirrors that opens? Have I tried that already? Dude, where is everybody? We've seen... Like, three people? I mean, I know two of them died. <laughs> but, like, where is Henry? His elevator is up, which means... He's up here, unless he went down the stairs on his wheelchair. What about... There's got to be more secret walls, right? Nothing important. Nothing important. Look under rug. There's nothing but dirt under the rug. Hmm. Okay, I guess we can look outside some more. Like, we saw Ethel outside, but then she walked away. Yeah, there's a cat statue. Let's do a save again. Because I'm scared of randomly dying to alligators while outside. That's the bell. We need to unrust the bell. This is locked. I might as well try to open it again, but I think it's locked. It's open now. Okay. Good thing I tried. You're inside a leaky old playhouse. Wow. I... Good thing I tried. Who is this? This is a bit odd. Oh, this is Lillian. Your friend seems to be reading a book uh, to those dolls. And then he said... Talk to... Lillian. What are you doing here, Laura? Uh, actually, let's ask Lillian... About handkerchief. It would appear that Lillian is more interested in reading a book to some dolls than talking to you. Tell Lillian about Wilbur. Wow. Okay. I mean, we advanced time, so I'll take it. Okay, we should check other stuff that might be locked. 
like the like the the tomb. Oh, hello, Rudy. What are you doing here? I'm just gonna follow you. Where did he go? Okay, maybe I won't follow you. Or maybe he went in here. Oh my god, we're adva we're making so much progress. There's Ethel. Pretty sure she's like super drunk. Oh, back so soon. Ask Ethel about handkerchief. Handkerchief. What? Ask <laughs> Ethel about handkerchief. Give. We can. We can still he see Ethel's hat, so she's still here. Give hand. Chief to Ethel because it's hers. She doesn't even look at it. Okay, where is she going? <clears throat> I've never been here. You have you've come upon a rundown carriage house. Old crates have been piled up before one of the doors. For obvious reasons, it's not been used as a carriage house for some time. I never even found this place. I remember seeing this building in the distance, but I thought it was the, the barn. You peer through the gloom of the old carriage house. Parts of a decrepit carriage lie in the right corner, and a small rowboat named Minnow rests in the left corner. Oil can! That's exactly what we need. Ethel's gonna fall in the swamp and get eaten. That's very likely, actually. Okay. Um. Open box. Okay, well, we got the oil, so let's leave. And we're gonna ring the bell for some reason. Dude, did I get a host? I wish Twitch would still show hosts. I don't know why it doesn't. Okay. We go up the ladder. Use oil can on bell. What? Use oil can? What is it called? Oil can. Use oil can on old bell. Uh. <laughs> what? This is, this has to be what it's for, right? What should you cook for BS Dad for lunch tomorrow? Um, you should make some biscuits. Oil can. How do I? <laughs> There's a show. I haven't used show before. I don't know, give oil can to Bell. <laughs> I thought I thought this was definitely what this this is for. Oh hello Ethel. Show Ethel Handkerchief. She doesn't care about it. Take 
Ethel's drink. You don't want it. Hmm. Well, I don't know what the oil can is for then. It has to be for that, right? It has to be. I want to go back to the tomb. Might as well check the church. So it might be randomly unlocked for some reason. Oh my god. Okay, we'll just go out the back door. <laughs> Um, hi. I'm gonna save. Before I get wrecked by this ghost. That looks like a wisp of mist from the bayou. Well, it's gone now. <laughs> it's sealed. Okay, well, it's not locked, it's just sealed. Dijon. Just empty. Please go down. Is the horse alive? The horse is still good. Pet, blaze. Is it just me or does this horse look like really underweight? <laughs> Looks really skinny. Pet. Blaze. Nice. Ah, uh, clearly, Revy, of course. What is this building up here? Have I been there? Oh, that's the, uh, yes. That's where we got the oil. <clears throat> okay, Ethel, don't go down. That's where the alligators are. I want to see where she goes. Okay. I think she's fine. What is this? Oh, that's that's the playhouse. Oh, there's Ethel again. Ravioli and turkey legs. Is that a frog? What is this? That's an alligator. Is it gonna eat me? Or am I safe up here? Oh, that was a frog. And now, now they're, uh... They're moving. 
Or was it a turtle? <laughs> Yeah, frog, okay. The, it did look like a turtle, the, the one near the bottom. It did. I thought it was a turtle for a second, too. Oh, I've never been here. An old... okay. Yes. Oh, there's another owl. Talk to Owl. To Owl? To all? <laughs> Boo-hoo. Pet Owl. This definitely wins the award for most animals you can pet in Max Ventures. Which is, which is very important. Okay, if we get too close... Oh, no. You're gonna get eaten by alligators, dude. If we get too close to the water, they just... They chomp you. Talk to Clarence. He's not in the mood to talk. If I just follow him... He turned around for a second. And then he disappeared. Oh. Uh, Glory is lying still upon the gazebo floor. On closer inspection, it's clear that someone has strangled Gloria with her own feather boa. Well, there's another one down. <laughs> the gazebo still looks peaceful and inviting with the dead body on the floor. And then we go back, and she's gone. Yep. Well, I mean, we literally just followed Clarence here. Oh, there he is. Uh, tell Clarence about Gloria? Nope, he doesn't- he does not want to talk. Hmm. Get out of my sight, jerk. Now you get out of my sight. Why, you? Um, you little pipsqueak. Don't mess with me, bud. Just stay out of my way. Is he Canadian? You ain't heard the last of me, Rudy. I'll get you for this. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> um. So yeah, everybody just hates everybody, it seems, in this house. Let's go back inside. The game is surprisingly, like, not that bad. I'm trying to open it. Way better than, uh, Lure the Temptress. <laughs> oh, things look suspicious here. You can see pieces of a broken record on the floor by the Victrola and a small pile of pink feathers. Hmm. Take broken record. Oh, the piano bench is in the way. Take record. As you bend down to retrieve the largest piece of the broken record, you notice some spots of mud on the rug. Hmm. This muddy foot, muddy spot looks like a partial footprint. Oh, hi. You're coming to clean up?
You're Jeeves, right? Yeah. Ask Jeeves or tell Jeeves about uh, Gloria. It's not my business to gossip. Shall tell Jeeves about Wilbur? Hold on. Um, ask Jeeves about, about poker. I don't know what to ask him about. He doesn't care. AskJeeves.com. Okay, we're just going to check the other rooms. I feel like there's more hidden uh, passageways in the walls. Like, there's got to be more than just one, right? I'm also very surprised I haven't used a, a guide at all. I haven't even asked for a hint. Oh. Act V. What an interesting collection of weapons Uncle Henry has. I wonder. Oh, Laura, you startled me. Is that Lillian? After you surprise Lillian at the Colonel's weapons cabinet, she rests in a chair by the fireplace. Tell Lillian about Gloria. That seems unlikely, but I'll check it out. <laughs> a few moments later. You're just imagining things. Tell her about Wilbur. Don't waste your time with that old quack. Oh. Tell Lillian about... Record. Who cares? <laughs> Do I have anything she might want? Oh, tell, tell her about her drunk mother. Ethel. Don't watch my mother, that bothers me. Look, I'm trying to... She's gonna walk into the alligators... Like, pond. You surprised me. Have you been keeping, your, keeping yourself busy? Oh, yeah. Well, let's let's go to the cabinet she was looking at. Stay out of there, Laura. Those weapons belong to my uncle. All right. But I'm watching you. There's a lot of weapons in this room. Dude, I don't know where Henry went. Like, Henry's elevator is upstairs, so he must be upstairs. There's Rudy. <clears throat> He's got a coffee and a, a pink. Steak, a cup of coffee, and a piece of pie. I was close. I got the coffee right. Talk to Rudy. Ah, Laura, are you still up? It's getting so quiet around here, everybody must have gone to bed. <laughs> yes, they have gone to the permanent sleep. Tell Rudy. Actually, 
Ask Rudy about Clarence. That old rat doesn't even have to wait for my uncle to die. I bet he's stolen half his money already. Tell him about Gloria. You won't look. <clears throat> you won't make. What? You won't get me to fall for one of your stories this time. Tell him about Wilbur. I could care less what happens to that old charlatan. Unfortunately, he's probably just asleep. Yes, also permanently asleep. What if I... Ask Rudy about poker. Ask him about... Broken records? Nothing in there. Well, we can check the uh, the doghouse. The dog better be alive. Is the dog okay? <laughs> well, it hasn't moved, but we pet it anyway. Talk to dog. Oh, pricking up. His ears, he listens. Okay. The dog is alive. Oh, I should check the cell area as well. What? Open cellar doors. You're not close enough. Open cellar doors. It's open now. This must be the butler's room. Actually, it's not too bad considering it's down in the cellar. Oops, I walked in on him changing. Let's save. Jeeves must be getting ready to see someone special, as he's taking great pains with his appearance while standing at his sink. Talk to Jeeves. Talk, oh Jeeves. Not you again. Glora. Kindly leave my room. Please leave. Um, not yet. I need to go searching. A box of crackers is sitting on the nightstand. Take crackers. Cra crackers, uh. Oh my god. That sound. You ask Jeeves if you can have the crackers. He nods his head in approval. Sweet, we got free crackers. You notice a lovely bouquet of flowers on Jeeves' bed. You have a feeling you know who will be the recipient of those flowers. Fifi? They don't belong to you. Well, yeah, but they will after I take them. Make friends with Burb? Yeah, he is shirtless. Open. Is that a closet? Okay, we got seven crackers for Polly. Use toilet. <laughs> R-rated. <laughs> what if, can I give one to the dog as well? I said 19, whatever. Oh, where are you going? Oh, I can press spacebar and it... Okay. Give cracker to dog. He wouldn't be interested. Okay. 
So yeah, we're definitely going to the bird now. Maybe it won't bite our hand off anymore. <laughs> oh, and then the bird will repeat what Ethel was telling it. Because Ethel was talking to it last, I think. That's my hypothesis. Oh, hi. Oh, hello, young lady, er, Laura. Okay, give cracker to parrot. You gave a cracker to the parrot. Jeeves, kiss me again. Pet parrot. No, I gave you a cracker, dude. Um, 10, sure. Give cracker to parrots again. If it's the same, I'm going to reload. Awk cracker. Because I don't want to waste my crackers if it doesn't help me. Okay, we're going to reload. So we should still, yeah, we still have six crackers. Tell Clarence about Gloria. He's starting to go too far with these stories. Okay, so someone asked Jeeves to, to kiss them again. Let's go to Fifi's room. Like, didn't Fifi have a thing for Jeeves? Or was that someone else? Ask Parrot about Ethel? I don't know if it can understand me. <clears throat> Hello, Fifi. What are we doing? Um... She's putting on a dress. Flushed. <laughs> not be seen here, mademoiselle. This is my private room. Well, then why did you change in front of me seductively? Ask her about Jeeves. Most of the time I feel that he's the only one who understands me. Oops. Um... Okay. Did I ever ask Jeeves about Fifi? I don't think so. Something f fine cognac. All right. She doesn't like liquor. Let's go back to Jeeves. Try taking the axe again? Nope. <laughs> I really want that axe. This insane soundproofing. Yeah, there's no fade out of the sound. It's just instantly the music is gone.
Who do you think is going to die next? I think either Jeeves or Fifi. I think one of them is going to be dead next. Open cellar doors. The parrot. I hope not. Ask Jeeves about Fifi. Okay. <laughs> I'll leave. <clears throat> I have a pizza waiting for me after the stream. Pretty excited about that. I wouldn't be surprised if him and that French strumpet were in this together. Yeah, I don't like his attitude at all. He's just jealous that Fifi likes Jeeves. Let's go in. I'm going to go in the clock again. Oh, it's locked. I can't go in it anymore. Because they know. They know I've found their hiding spot. Ask Parrot. About Ethel. You don't get any response. Hmm. Is she still up here? She's still here. <laughs> Bow. Just one note. Is this still open? I mean, closed? Still closed. What if I use poker on chandelier? I don't know. The chandelier, I swear, is going to fall at some point. Nothing here. Oh, nice. There's Henry. But Uncle Henry, I don't understand how you could... Laura, what are you doing in here? I'm snooping. Talk to Lillian. I'll meet with you later. Okay. Tell Henry about Gloria. He doesn't care. Tell him about Wilbur. Hmm. Show Henry the poker. So. <laughs> well, I don't know. Or tell Henry about Lillian, because Lillian was going through his weapons. Never mind. Well, we advan like we advanced time, so
Oops. So we're doing something right. I mean, most of this game so far has just been walking in, in, the, in the different rooms, waiting for time to advance. That's all right. I still really think we use the oil on the bell, but I don't know how. Is this closet open? It is. But it's empty. Okay, we're gonna check outside. I'm gonna check the uh, the love garden. I knew it. This is dreadful. Poor Ethel has been hit over the head and killed. Something terrible is going on around here and you suddenly feel a cold fear spreading ominously throughout your body. Well. She didn't get eaten by alligators like we thought. Which is quite surprising considering how easy it is to accidentally get eaten by alligators here. Okay, so now we have to find Lillian again. And we should probably tell her about Ethel, because that's her mother. <laughs> I knew it! I don't know why it happened now, just randomly, but I knew it. I told you, this whole game it was going to fall. Okay, I have to advance time again. Which is over in Henry's room, and then we have to go to Ethel. I should have been saving more. Okay. I think that's good. I don't think we have to... ...do anything else. I wonder if I can avoid the chandelier if I walk like on one of the or, or near one of the walls. Or I wonder if that's there to like prevent me from going upstairs or something. Ethel isn't there. God damn it. Hmm. What the heck? <laughs> oh, not restart. Oh my god. I, I don't want to restart the game. Okay, did I talk to Fifi? I don't know what triggered the ethel death. We 
we go in here. I guess I should talk to them. What did I say? Talk to Lillian. She said, I'll meet with you later. Um, tell Henry about Wilbur. Tell Henry about Gloria. Sorry, Floria. Why do I keep typing F? Gloria. Okay. Let's hope that worked. Let's save again. Now let's go back to the love garden. Do not walk in the middle. I wonder if that chandelier would have fallen like any time during the game. And I just ended up walking around it every time, accidentally. I feel like that's plausible. Dang it. What did the... Uh, how did we get her killed? <laughs> I want her to die. I remember we also went... Down to Jeeves again. I also said, uh... Or ask... Rudy about... Jeeves. And then I also asked him about Fifi. And I remember going to Jeeves and asking about Fifi. Ask Jeeves. But Fifi, kindly leave my room. <laughs> I don't know what else we did. Maybe it's just like a time, a timed thing. Dang it. <laughs> I don't know, let's just walk around a bit more and then check back. I really wish I saved. Nothing's going on here. Oh, I did actually, I remember telling Lillian about Ethel. Maybe that triggered it? There we go. Oops. Okay. I'm sometimes hitting my uh, mute hotkey, or my mute mic hotkey. Because I'm using the arrow keys, and my hotkey is zero. <laughs> I'm not normally using the arrow keys, so it doesn't matter usually.
Okay, well, Lillian's gone, but we got to Act 6. Okay. Maybe there's some randomness involved on like, like maybe people die and, th and that's like, like maybe it's RNG related, I don't know. Maybe when we, re when we reloaded, she didn't actually die. I doubt it. I don't know, I don't know why a time advanced there though, nothing happened. Oh, hello, Lillian. I know we're sharing a room, Laura, but I would like to be alone for a little while. I need to do something privately. Oh. Ethel. Lillian gets a disgusted look on her face as you try to talk to her. Okay, well, she's not going to talk. Nothing going on there. No, I didn't. I, I tried to, but Ethel just won't die. <laughs> I can't get Ethel to, to die anymore. I don't know what I did. Might as well check the bathroom. But I still advanced time. I don't know. Let's, let's go check again. After we check these two rooms. Okay, it's 12.30. Not in the mood to talk right now. Okay. <laughs> Might as well check if Fifi is, like, Fifi's probably somewhere with Jeeves right now. Nope. What is happening around here? You've discovered poor Fifi and Jeeves lying dead on the floor with their spilled drinks nearby. Well, I mean, she was with GG. Or, sorry, what? GG? <laughs> she was with Jeeves. Fifi was with Jeeves. <laughs> Take flowers. Okay. It's not readily apparent how Jeeves and Fifi died as there are no wound marks on their body. Oh, they got poisoned. Take glasses. Shouldn't touch them. It's a crime scene, of course. Well. We don't, there's not many people left. Hello. Tell Lillian about Fifi. She does not want to talk. The butler did it. Well, the butler's dead now. <laughs> he still could have done it, I guess. Tell Henry about Fifi. Stop with the stories. Jeeves? Ask about Fifi. Okay. Can I get past him here? Yes. I feel like people are just dying, but we haven't learned anything. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, the only thing we've learned is that we've seen, like, some shadowy figure with a hat. Every once in a while. Yeah, process of elimination. Tell Clarence. About Jeeves. He does not want to talk. Hello, Ruble. You finished the main story. Insane. How many hours do you think it took? Probably like 50 to 100. Like that's a pretty big range, but... Um, let's save before I waste a cracker. Give Cracker to Parrot. Ninety to a hundred hours. I can't find her. Where's Gloria? Hmm. Who was in here last? I think Clarence was in here last, maybe? Oh, don't walk there. Oh my god. That was close. Final boss at 75 HP. I can't remember if that's a lot. It doesn't sound like a lot, but also I played with four people, so... Well, if we walk there, the chandelier falls on you. <laughs> the one at the top, right there. Yeah, 150 sounds like a lot. Well, let's just go double check that their bodies are gone, because they're likely gone. No, it actually will fall on me. <laughs> wonder if I can... Snoop around here. Open vanity. Oh, I can walk in here? Search closet. Cl closet. The words there, the keyword search doesn't seem to work. Rubina did 38 in one attack. With Omega Luck. Oh, she probably got like a... Did, did her big loss card with a times two. Why, why did I go upstairs? Yeah, there were some... King's Quest 4 and Leisure Suit Larry references. X is the difference between your max HP and current. I see. That's pretty cool. Open closet. What if all the bodies were just in the closet? Let's go check the garden again. Maybe Ethel will be dead. Or or maybe the game bugged and Ethel is now just never going to die. <laughs> or like maybe maybe the game thinks she's dead, but we just it bugged out and we never got the scene. I don't know. Nope. 
Or maybe it's random where Ethel dies. Like, maybe there's some randomness. Maybe she still dies, but she could be somewhere else. Oh, hello. It's Rudy and the dog. Talk to Rudy. It's you again, is it? You should be you should be up sleeping like everyone else. <laughs> yep, they're sleeping all right. We also haven't seen a uh, Sally in a while. Like maybe she's dead as well. We just haven't found the body. Tell Rudy about Fifi. Tell him about Jeeves. Rudy doesn't care. Pet dog. Rudy is already petting the dog. Only one person can pet at a time. Unfortunately. Anyone dead in here? What is that green thing? What is that? I don't know what it is. I can't even look at it. I want to try again to use the oil on the bell. Okay. Use oil can on bell. Look at bell. Or maybe put oil on bell? There we go. We just had to find the right words to use. Okay. We've loosened it finally. Now, use cane on rope. No, sorry. Pull rope with cane. Reaching up, you pull it. Uh-oh. Oh my god, really? We solved a puzzle just to die? We had to use two items just to ring that bell. <laughs> Peepo D. I have to go back to Rudy and the dog. Hopefully they're there. There are actually two bells of awakening. Yeah, maybe I can find, like, a helmet. Oh, there's the shadow. The shadow figure. Okay, advance time. Now we'll save. Okay, do not ring the bell. Wait, the gun cupboard was open? Dang it, Lillian. Can I even get up here to go back in? Okay, I can. Oh, you're right. It's wide open. I never would have noticed. Um, yeah, look at cabinet, Ca cabineter, it's wide open, okay, can I do something, 
Look in cabinet. There we go. Cautiously you peek inside the open door of the cabinet. Not surprisingly, part of the colonel's weapons collection is housed there. Within the cabinet, you see an Australian boomerang, a steel cutlass, a mace, and an empty crossbow. You closed it. Take... No, I want to take the boomerang. Boomerang? You wouldn't know how to use it. That's very true. Take the cutlass. Hmm. No, this is Laura Bow. So the we're playing as and the game never said, I think. But we're playing as Laura Bow, and then there's a second game from 1991 that also features Laura Bow, which is why I considered it a series. Kathy Rain 1. Last time I I forgot to update the poll, but before the stream I checked and it was 5-5, it was tied. So that vote must have came in too late. I just uh forgot to update the poll. <laughs> it was 5-5. You're basically playing catch with yourself. I used to have a nice boomerang. I don't know where it went. I think it was like a gift. It was like a nice wooden boomerang. But I never knew how to use it. And I don't know where it is anymore. Maybe I'll find it when I pack more stuff. Dijon. Still empty? Still empty. I threw it and it never came back. So yeah, the other, so this game is like the Colonel's Bequest, and then the other game is the Dagger of Amon-Ra, which also features Laura Bow. Pet, horse. Also, do not open that gate. If you open the gate, the horse kills you. <laughs> oh, what is this? You see a rolling pin and some footprints. That's Selly. She had a rolling pin earlier. You notice a muddy footprint nearby. We've seen a few muddy footprints. So the murderer could be the cook. I like how this game is just Clue. Like you have Colonel Mustard. You have the cook. I don't know, is there a cook in Clue? I don't remember. This is basically just Clue, except like all the characters die except instead of just one. Yeah, maybe it's us. Yeah, Colonel Dijon. That's why I was saying, I was like, isn't his name actually Mustard? It's Dijon. When did Clue come out? I'm wondering if, if one of them is a reference to the other. <laughs> Clue's probably older than this. Yeah, 70s or 80s. This could be a reference to Clue. Eighty-five. Oh, okay. 
So this game came out three years later. This is Sally's house. It might be open. It's not nice to enter people's houses without being invited. But I'm here to return her rolling pin. I wonder if I can knock. Oh, that's the film. I didn't even know there was a film. Was the board game based off a of film? I never knew that. I can actually knock. Oh my god. Act 7. What are you doing here, girl? Can't you feel the evil in the air? There's something real bad around here, and I'm staying put in my cabin behind locked doors. Get yourself back to your room. Who was that? I mean, I guess that was Sally. Twenty-seven. Do I have anything... ...that I can use to get across here? You know what, this is stupid, but it might work. You never know in these games. Um, use poker on bridge. On bring? How come I am just like... Why do I just type the wrong word sometimes? Put poker across bridge. As like a... <laughs> a new bridge. <laughs> I don't know. Man. How'd you get vaccinated so early? Or was that just... Because I know, like, Regal got vaccinated because he was more at risk. Compared to other people in his age group, but... How did you get it so early? Let's, let's open the well again. Uh, how do I how do I use the well? What did I turn? What did I use to turn the well last time? Turn well handle. Now oh, that works. You're essential. I see. Take bucket. Because here in Canada, I have to wait until like September. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, cellar is locked. Let's save. Did I just save, like, recently? I think I did, but whatever. The cat is here. Oh, there's the, uh... Spooky shadow. Hmm. 
Oh! It's broken. The glass case is broken that had the, uh, the gun in it. Glass case. Someone broke the glass case and took the silver derringer. Pick up glass shard. You might hurt yourself, that's fair. Okay, so now someone is running around with a gun and possibly another weapon. Um, there's an alligator up here. Oh, it's stuffed, okay. <laughs> I didn't see the alligator before, so I thought that was a live alligator that got up there because I didn't see it last time. Okay, but someone's running around with a gun. And then there was also another cabinet that was broken into with uh, an assortment of weapons. I need to be careful about the chandelier here. Do not walk in the middle. You were hoping it would jump on me? Nothing? A bad feeling comes over you as you look around the room. The small desk chair has been knocked over and you see a fresh blood stain on the rug. Uh-oh. Clarence left his notebook. Read notebook. Just pretend you're a smoker to get vaccinated. One fifteen. You notice that just one page has been written on, and today's date, May 27th, 1925, heads it. Curiously, you read the rest. It says, I'm terribly apprehensive about what's going on here. I can't say why, just call it a bad sensation. But as the evening wears on, I'm feeling more and more alone. Where's Wilbur? Where's Gertie? Where's Gloria? Do they have left without me? Is there a way to leave the island that I'm not aware of? We did see a boat. Still, the spine-tingling feeling won't leave, and frankly, I'm scared. Can I take it? I think we should go check on the boat in the, in the one uh, building, in the shed. I wonder if someone took it. But let's check the <laughs> check the rooms up here just to possibly advance time. Tell Henry about Clarence. That's that's not how you spell Clarence. That's also not how you spell Clarence. Oh my god. Hello, Clarence. This is horrendous. Now it's Clarence. Someone has killed him by stabbing him in the chest with a dagger. If only there was a way to flee this terrible island. There is. We're gonna go we're gonna go to the boat. Well, okay, let's... <laughs> Wait, who's still alive? Lillian? Maybe Ethel is alive, I don't know. We saw her die and then we reloaded and couldn't get her to die again. 
Maybe C uh, Selly is alive. And Henry is alive. I think that's it. I don't know if... Oh, Rudy is still alive, I think. I think that's everybody. Three people in the dock. And the horse and the parrot. Just making sure nothing is going on in these rooms. Okay. We figure out the paintings. Well, I think when we went into the hidden room, like behind the clock, you could see through the paintings. Yeah, I think that's what the. I think that's what the description was hinting at that someone was spying on them through the paintings. Poster Rubina's cats. Nice. Okay, nothing in there. Hello, green fireballs. Fellow gamer. Still looks like there's something under the table there. But yeah, I think it's just actually the table leg, now that I look at it more, clear, uh, more carefully. Okay, the dog is still alive, I think. Let's just check this while we're here. Locked. Okay, so the the shed was somewhere somewhere over here. Looks like something you would have played in school. <laughs> Probably. I'm sure somebody at some point was playing this during class. Oh, hello, Rudy. Where are you going? I'm going to follow you. Did he go in here? Oh, it's a Lillian again. You have a visitor, darling. Sit up straight now. Okay, she's a little crazy. Going a little loopy. Our visitor is talking to us. Pay attention now. 
Tell Lillian about Clarence. Oh, she's not listening. What is this green thing? Show Lillian the rolling pin. Ask, I have an idea. Ask Lillian about the foot prints. Dang it. Where did Rudy go? Maybe up here? Punch her. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, that's Selly. It's the cook. Is she holding a baby? I don't know. No, she's praying. It looks like she's holding a baby. What are you doing here? Something mighty terrible is happening. Evil spirits are all around us. I think we're gonna die before the night is over. Show Sally the rolling pin. Not paying any attention, okay. Well, I'll, I'll be leaving, I guess. Well, I don't know. Okay, tell Sally about Clarence. No, she's not gonna talk. But we did advance time. Can I leave? Can I leave, please? Okay, you know what? I'll just go out the back door, because that's apparently way easier. I'm still trying to find that shed. I don't know why it's so hard to find. Is it to the right? No. No, no. no, not that shed. <laughs> I think we'll see it in the background once we go over here. Okay, maybe one more time. Might as well, okay, we'll check down here first. What is this? Is that a rope? No, that's just, that's just light. It is a plantation, yes. Where the heck is that shed? It was the shed that had the boat and we got the oil can in there. And I apparently can't find it anymore. Okay, let's go through the house. Just watch out for the <laughs> chandelier. That's not the right way. Oh my god, stop. I'm trying to stay as close to the left as I can. There we go.
check in here. Nothing, nothing going on. Dude, I have no idea where this shed is. Like, I, I didn't even find it at first, when I did my initial exploration. And then I randomly stumbled upon it, and got the oil can, and now I can't find it again. Maybe it's over here. I mean, that's like every old adventure game, Ruble. Just be very careful around, around this part. There's the gazebo. Here's the garden. Dude, I'm finding every single place except the shed. Good night, master. Peepo D. I remember I was able to see it in the background somewhere around here. So if I can find it in the background, I can just go towards it. I'm making it up. <laughs> I'm so confused. No, that's not the shed. That's not the right one. <laughs> there it is! Oh my god. I guess this is like a garage. Finally. I knew it. I knew this was where we were supposed to go. Poor Ethel has been hit over the head and killed. So I guess the deaths are, there is some randomness. Because we saw Ethel die a different way. And then we reloaded and now she died this way. Hello Dark Fox. How's it going? Pretty good. I haven't even used a... Uh... Dude, I just noticed there's... I think blood on these ores. I haven't even used a guide yet. Maybe the ores just have some decorative stripes. <laughs> oh, what's this? Can I take the horse harness? Harness? Take harness. You can't get it. Look at ores. You can't see any ores. <laughs> Yeah, because they're above me. Take... Take anchor. But ores. 
And then we go back, and Ethel will be gone. She's not gone. That's actually really interesting. That's the first time someone hasn't disappeared immediately when they die in this game. You got spaghetti and meatballs? Wow. Not even Noki. Well, hold on, we should save. I wonder if we can finish this game today. Like, I think... Like, there's not many people left. So, at some point, everyone will be dead and the game will probably end. This is a, is this a BR? Yes, it is a BR. And I'm winning by doing nothing. All I'm doing is walking around. Can I take... Take empty glass. Okay. Take glass. Okay, well, let, let's save and... Give another cracker to the parrot. If we get any any new info, then great. Sleep tight, my pretties, in the basement. The basement. Okay. That's that's pretty good info. Open the safe behind the painting. I mean I'll try to take the painting off. It's firmly attached to the wall. So we only know one way into the basement. And last time I looked, it was locked. But there could be a secret entrance. Okay, the dog is still alive. That's always good to see. Dor Dorza. I'm really good at pressing random letters. Still locked. Oh, I should find Lillian. I'll probably tell her that her mother died. It's probably a good thing to go tell her about. <laughs> well, not a good thing, but she should probably know. I'm going to go to the dollhouse. Hopefully she's still there. Uh, this way. Uh, while we're here, let's just check the love garden. Okay, nobody dead. <laughs> Do not ring the bell. Stream. What? Lillian is gone. Okay. 
She could be in her room. I mean, she could be she could be anywhere to be honest. I see the shadow. Hold on, is that something under the chair? No, that's just... That's just the ground. The ground is under the chair. I wonder if the clock opens. Nope, it's locked. I'm not going to try to finish today, but I'll finish next time. And then we can start the, the second game immediately. Also, next week I won't even be able to stream next Friday, because that's the day before I move, and there's stuff I gotta do. So yeah, there won't be next ventures for two weeks, actually. Hello, Rudy. Act, uh, act 8. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Talk to Rudy. Beat it, kid. Oh. Tell Rudy about Ethel. Eth Ethel. He's busy. Yeah, we're already on Act 8. Rematch with Lavos. I don't know how many acts there are. I'm kind of curious, but... Okay, the blood is cleaned up. Rip me. Yeah, you know, one there's one more week of afternoon streaming and then it'll only be evenings. Well, unless it's the weekend. Okay, where have we not been? I mean, I guess we haven't been anywhere since since Act 8. It is the weekend? What? Yes. It is. Hold on, was that? Is this what Wilbur was writing? Have I ne just never looked at this? You read the name of the magazine? It's called The Racehorse Quarterly. Upon examining the open page, you see a picture of a beautiful thoroughbred named Sunny Boy. The name Sunny Boy has been circled in red. Okay. That's what Wilbur was reading. Ok, 
Okay, well, I think... Do I take clues? What do you mean? You mean like hints? The dog is gone. Oh, you saw something? Yeah, let, let me know. That's fine. Someone else was saying there's like some pixel hunting. So. <laughs> Under the table in the dining room. I. This thing. I've, I've, uh. I mentioned that before. It's nothing. <laughs> I've seen that and it's, I think it's just the table leg because I can't seem to look at it or anything. Oh, what about. Look. Okay, we'll get off of it first. Look under rug. You see a tiny rug by the kitchen sink. Yeah, look under it. Or what if I look at the kitchen, like look in the kitchen cabinets? Nothing you need in the cupboards, okay. I think I'm going to stop for today. Um, but we should finish it pretty quick next time, I think. And then we can start the other game starring Laura Bow. But I, I'm really hungry. So... We're gonna stop for today. We're never gonna see the end. No, you will, you just, you just have to, you know, I'm ending on it, you know, to see the final of the finale, you have to just follow me. <laughs> Hit bop that follow button. And, and you'll, you'll see the killer eventually. I mean, I could finish it. I could finish it, like, another day. It doesn't have to be on Fridays. Yeah, there's probably not much left. <laughs>